Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to give it a couple of minutes until you guys join in. So let me see. Sorry about this, guys. I really don't know why. I don't experience technological glitches. All right. So I see Frank coming in. <laughs> so I'm going to just give it a few minutes until more of you all come in. And then I'll continue the rest of the channeling for the rest of you. Let me just do... Oops. Ah, oh, perfect. Linda found me. And uh, let me do the ad, everyone. All right. Perfect. So I don't know if, because the last I was channeling for Dawn, and then I haven't started for Shay yet. So, yes. <laughs> Frank, yes, you haven't caught. I was disrupted, so I, so I had to start a new link to continue. So I've got um, Shay, Marion, Harshi, Diana, Jessica, Linda, Lisa, and Bunny. So yes. So guys, oh, okay. So you guys are back in. Apologies. I really don't know why this happened or what happened. Ah, oh, <laughs> okay. So... Okay, so I'm going to start with Shay. So what is in store for you, Shay? What is going what is going on for you energetically? So what I'm picking up is a massive, massive, massive shift. And also I am picking up on a huge there is a huge breakthrough as far as your connection is concerned. I am noting more and more. I'm noting more and more heart-to-heart -heart connection and expansion between the both of you. It's as though you guys are just going through this moment, moments actually, moments of heart-to-heart -heart conversations that is actually deepening your connection further. It's as though you guys are just craving that, that soul merging. So I see massive soul merging taking place between the both of you. And your DM is just really, really enjoying this closeness and connection he feels with you. So it's as though like a magical moment is taking place between the both of you. And you guys are just unlocking potential that has been hidden for so long. I'm also seeing a lot of uh, blue and pink, which shows massive growth. And also a kind of playfulness and romance. There's a lot of romance that is being set forth for the both of you coming um, in the next coming, in the next few weeks, coming weeks, you're also going to feel a lot of expansion and expression, heartfelt conversations, and also you are going to feel more and more comfortable with these energies. You're also going to feel this intense movement within your chakra system. So it's a kind of like a kundalini awakening you might both experience that's only going to connect you further. So the messages I'm getting from your divine masculine is that he is in awe of everything that he's experiencing, that he feels like he's opening a new door every single day. So that's what's going on, Shay. It's a moment of deep transformation and connection and growth and realization and fascination. It's all happening all at once. His messages are that he's truly, truly enjoying the moments and he's saying that he will only become better and better and he will do anything and everything for you. And he's in full, he's in a full-on warrior 
masculine mode right now and he wants to just treat you like the queen that you deserve to be treated so there's so much happiness and lightness and 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 growth in your combined energetic field so Shay, i hope you have enjoyed this channeling and with that i have got marion harshi diana jessica linda lisa and bunny so i'm just going to write the list so so that you guys know as the video was disrupted All right, Marion, are you here? So next up is your channeling. I'm just um, writing a note here. So those of you all who are like, ah, where is my channeling? All right, guys, this is the order. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing all of you all now. Okay, I'm pinning this comment. All right, guys, I still have Marion, Harshi, Diana, Jessica, Linda, Lisa, and Bunny. All right. You're most welcome, Shay. Don't worry, you guys will be in communication again. It will, it will. So just take that him being in fascination as a period of, of transformation because he's connecting deeper to all the new things that he's unveiling. So it's just going to get better and better. All right, Marion, are you here? Hi, Harshi, great. So Harshi, after Marion, it's you. And then, hi, Beth, Frank, good to see you. All right. Oh, I realize I can also do it here. Okay, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. I don't know, somehow, time is so fluid today. I feel like, I feel like I'm in a dream <laughs> right now. All right. Okay. Marion, I am going to start your channeling now. I hope you are here, but I'm going to start it now. 
so marion what i'm picking up for you is a lot of gold and silver and green it shows that both of you are further expanding deep expansion in your heart chakras a lot of deepened conversations multi-dimensionally it's like you guys are just unva unveiling aspects of yourself that has been that has been never expressed before so a lot of expression not only in 3d but also on a mind level on a mental level on, on a soul level and beyond as far as your multi-dimensional lives are concerned you guys are going through major major transformation more projects are being passed on to the both of you more missions you guys are enjoying your position up there and somehow it's filtering into the 3d reality so a lot of magical moments are being are going to come for you both and you're also going to feel balance and alignment with your present situation because both of you are already in connections that you guys are working on to complete cycles with it will happen in divine timing but because you're still in a kind of union that is helping helping you guys to expand and grow in time to come there will be that that full uninterrupted union between you where you're no longer being pulled by members of the past somehow you will feel that balance and connection between the both of you so massive transformation that is happening with your root chakras as well i do know transformation in that area majorly also solar plexus your dm has been standing up for himself a lot lately so he feels that he has really drawn the boundaries as far as his family is concerned and somehow you are mirroring that as well you are drawing that boundaries too because you have both realized that no matter how much you do these people will only understand what they can understand unfortunately because that's how they are designed to perceive the world so again you guys may be meeting a lot of npcs who may try to to take you off your path or cause disruption or di disruption or chaos but you guys won't be affected by it because your connection with god is at a whole time high strong as god is with you marian literally protecting you every step of your way same for your dm as well you have this connect collective protection as well i see a lot of divine guides higher dimensional teachers so you would be experiencing a lot of downloads and activations too so on 3d earth things to expect in the next couple of weeks is more more in-depth conversations and communication between you both increased romance between you both also more meetings so some could be random some could be predetermined some could be planned but all these three things are going to happen as far as your life is concerned also the messages i'm getting from your divine masculine is that he is so in love with you and he's in so much awe and he just feels so much lightness and freedom like he has never experienced this with anyone on live or any other planets before and he says that he is so grateful to have met you and anything any time any moments he gets to spend with you he considered it as a blessing from god and he's saying that he is so grateful for life and the experience life gives and he has fully devoted himself to growing and evolving and also drawing healthy boundaries around people who are affecting his life and he's saying he's so privileged to be able to spend this time to him he views it like a bubble your own romantic bubble where you get to spend time energetically physically multi-dimensionally and more and he's saying so much thank you thank yous to you Finally, your guides want you to know, Marion, that 
you are here to create a great change in the world you may not feel that right now but you are going to create a lot of change and transformation and you're going to change a lot of lives and help people to remember their spiritual identity so i do see you becoming like a spokesperson or being in community events or even in religious settings where you might be helping people find the, their soul helping people realize walking the path of god so you will be engaged in all of that so that's the channeling that i'm getting for you marian i hope you have enjoyed today's channeling finally your dm is dm is saying that he's so proud of you he's so in awe of you and so proud of you with that i'm going to harshi harshi are you here All right. So Harshi. So Arshi's question is, I am going to talk to him. Can you ask the guides and universe if I'm doing the right thing by doing so? And if it's right, uh, what would be the outcome of it for our connection? Will he just come back or run away further? I just need clarity from him. I'm not going to ask questions or beg him to be back. Just telling him to own his true feelings. But I would like to have your channeling. I'm glad to, I am going to talk to him. Yes. All right. So Harshi, number one, you have made an excellent choice. It's good that you're talking to him because firstly, you are energetically in a different vibrational space right now. So having this conversation at this moment is very, very optimum because you know that you are not going to be emotionally driven. You're not going to be triggered, but you are basically just going to say, what you're meant to say god is with you the angels are with you your guides are with you so this is perfect timing so it is right don't see it's wrong secondly he's not going to run he's only going to get closer to you but it may take some time for him to make sense of it all because it's a huge thing because this is not a confrontation this is more of an explanation it's more of him being aware of what your connection is so it's going to be a lot for him to take but again i trust that you do it in a way that it's not too overwhelming for him so do it in a very detached manner talk reconnect but don't throw in big um throw in things that might trigger him but Make it very light-hearted. That's the guidance I'm getting from your guides. Is to keep it light-hearted, keep it pure, your, your natural energetic state, and also let the conversation progress. So assess it when the conversation is happening. But the repercussion of this conversation is only going to bring a better outcome. So you don't have to worry about it not going in the opposite direction or anything like that like things will 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 truly truly it's for the good like the timing is perfect timing right now harshi so just go with the flow don't overthink it don't think about what the outcome is going to be just think about it you are expressing what you feel needs to be expressed at the moment now because you're being guided remember god is with you and you are being guided by god So that is what's going on at the moment, fully. So finally, the only message for you to take away from this channeling is that follow your heart, everything will turn out right, everything will turn out for the best, and God is with you. With that, Harshi, I hope you've enjoyed this channeling. And next up, I've got Diana. Diana, are you here? So it's Diana, Jessica, Linda, Lisa, and Bunny. Again, guys, I'm really, really grateful for all of your support. And I know these lives are going really long. <laughs> Again, it's all God determined. Sometimes I'm in awe how I've got all the energies to get by this. But you know what? It's beautiful. So Diana, what is in store for you? I am actually seeing a greater level of connection between you and your divine masculine. Somehow there's a lot of sweetness to your connection. 
I feel like your DM is threading very carefully because again, he doesn't want to disappoint you, but he's also very grateful of the fact that you are around him and you guys are within the same physical radius where you guys can meet each other anytime. Of course, he's going through a lot of clearing. Major, major cleansing is happening as far as his energetic fields are concerned. A lot of getting, re getting rid of unwanted energies is taking place. So sometimes you may feel like, hey, why is this guy like, like, you know, why, why is he not expressive or not responding? It's because he's clearing. So in a way, he's kind of in a state where bo whereby his body freezes up so that he can release. That's what's going on. And the messages your divine masculine has for you is he's very, very sorry that he wanted to do so much with you. And, he, and he's saying that he will continue to do what he intended to do with you. But he, he apologizes for the diversions. He apologizes for the challenges that you guys have been experiencing lately. And he's trying his best to enlighten his 3D self to let loose and let go and be free because he's a sovereign being. And also a lot of romance is in the air and things are going to get better. As the days pass, things are only... And even now, despite all these challenges that you guys may be facing, there is a deep level of growth. There's a deep level of wonder. There's a deep level of energetic transformation that is going through between the both of you. So beautiful moments are to come. Great great periods of transformation transformation is also set forth for the both of you with that i hope you have enjoyed this channeling diana because great moments are being prepared for you by god and you are just growing evolving there's going to be a lot of golden level opportunities coming by for you as well all right next up i have got jessica so I think Jessica may have a question. Jessica, are you here? And do you have a particular question? I don't see you. Oops. All right. So I'll just do a general one for you then. I'm not able to see any questions. And after Jessica, I've got Linda, Lisa, and Bunny. All right. So Jessica, what is in store for you? As far as the future is concerned, Jessica, you are experiencing major shifts and breakthroughs energetically so treat this period as a period for you to grow and evolve like never before and the messages i am getting from your person is that he is literally encouraging you motivating you and inspiring you to battle the challenges ahead and also wants to remind you that he's there for you always also the messages that are coming through is that He's saying that whatever happens, you guys will fight through this together. This period is going to be challenging. It's going to be transformative, but it's going to help you guys progress like never before. The messages that I'm getting from your guides are, your guides are saying that the challenges are key to transform you on a soul level. But at the same time, your guides want you to enjoy the experience that earth provides as many of these challenges are meant to shape you not to destroy you so with that i hope you have enjoyed this channeling and the final messages from your guides are to stay safe to stay strong romance is in the air the support of your person is with you never like never before and magical moments and beginnings are being set forth for the both of you so be prepared for the unexpected because great moments are coming ahead for the both of you all right linda i know you've been waiting for a while <laughs> i think for a really long while so linda are you here and linda do you have a particular question let me see 
Oh, I don't see a question. Oh, I see a question here. Linda's question is, what's going on in my connection with Doreen and will I hear from him soon? All right, let me see what I'm picking up. I don't know, guys, what's up with the internet, but somehow I'm not able to see anything. All right, guys. Oh, Linda, I'm here. Just want to know what's going on in my connection with Doreen and will I hear from him in the future? Jessica, you're most welcome. Diana says, definitely some challenges lately, but nothing we can't handle. Exactly. Oh, and Diana says, thank you, Vaish, is always on point and a beautiful message. Yes, perfect. All right, Linda, what is going on with, with your DM? Firstly, your DM is going through major transformations in his solar plexus, sacral, third eye, heart chakra, and crown chakra. So these five points are going through a kind of a reset. So you may be feeling fluctuations, energetic changes, because even though it is an individual process that is taking place, because you're one soul, you guys are being affected by these changes. And the combined energetic fields right now, it's high on astral travel, high communication, in-depth heart-to-heart conversation, and a lot of mission-based meetings. So you guys have been dreaming a lot about each other and also meeting up a lot, meeting up with each other a lot in the astral planes, exchanging a lot of romanticism, romanticism a lot of encouragement, a lot of words to get by in the 3D. However, the 3D self is going through growth and expansion, so you may be experiencing a lot of fluctuation and pain. And as a result, the universe is urging you to release, to surrender, and also to treat this as an opportunity for growth and evolution for the both of you. So in a way, you are protecting him as he's going through major evolution at the moment. At the same time, for you, major work, major work is going on in your heart chakra. A lot of expectations are being balanced, a lot of alignment. I'm also picking up on balance. I feel like you have made peace with the situation at hand and you accept you ex you're accepting things as they are. And it is hard, but you're getting through that in the best ability as you can. Finally, to answer your question, will you hear from him? You will hear from him once all the resets, activations and downloads are done. So it can be a while, but you will definitely hear from him in a couple of weeks time. His higher self apologizes to you for not being able to be there for you 100% and he's trying his best. He's really, really, really trying to do what he can and he's just suffering. He's just struggling. There's a lot of pain in his crown chakra, a lot of body ailments that I'm picking up. So he's really, really struggling. At the same time, he feels like he doesn't want to burden you with his pain. So that's what I'm picking up a lot, Linda. So you're being guided to focus on your combined energetic fields and send him as much love and strength and power as you can for him to get by this difficult period. But remember, God is with the both of you and you guys will get through this and things will get better between the both of you. Major transformation is go is set after March. The communication will heighten, but for now, just focus on the higher dimensional communication that you're both having in the astral, true dreams and all of that. With that, um, Linda, I hope you have enjoyed this channeling. Finally, I've got Lisa and Bunny. Lisa is saying, hi, Vaj. I was hoping for an energy update between Brendan and her. And 
I. <laughs> I think I'm losing my voice this week. All right, Lisa, what am I picking picking up with you and Brendan? I see a lot of yellow and green. So there is a massive transformation with the solar plexus. So he's becoming more confident and he's also going to speak his truth because his throat chakra is having a major breakthrough moment. Even though the communication and the conversations may start off on a very telepathic level, it is going to transcend and it's going to change in the manner that it's going to be more 3D in time to come. Further to that, your combined energetic fields indicate a lot of pink and white. So there is that childlike expression between you. There's a lot of play between you multidimensionally. There's a lot of meetings between the both of you as well. So this is a time to focus on you, on your growth. Your guides are asking you to focus on yourself, on your growth, and to allow this time and space to expand and grow. Finally, the messages from your divine masculine is that he wants you to, to focus on healing because that's what he's doing and somehow you guys are directly mirroring. And he's also saying keep sending love to him because he's sending love to you as well. And he's very grateful and appreciative of all the love and care that you send to each other. And he's so happy and grateful for everything that you have shown him in this life. And he just yearns to be with you all the time. He just needs time before he can make that happen. With that, Lisa, I hope you have enjoyed this channeling. And finally, Bunny, the messages I'm getting for you is that your DM is going through a breakthrough. He is going to balance off things that has been holding him back. He's going to draw major boundaries as far as his family life is concerned. And he's going to be free when he gets back to you. He's also noticing a lot of change with you energetically and he's very pleased by it. With that, his messages for you is that he is so happy that you guys are able to spend these energetic moments together and he says that he loves you so much without logic and rationality and he just yearns for the future that is going to bring you both together with that i hope you have enjoyed this channeling bunny and i will see you all next week take care and love you all and uh, sorry for the inconvenience cost with the technology it was beyond my control i really don't know why but yeah so for those of you all your channelings are here for shay marion harshi diana jessica linda lisa and bunny with that catch up with you all next week have a great 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 week and do check out soul realignment and all of the offers that i have take care and bye bye